Well, those who've seen it say are concerned and shocked by what is in that video, enough so that they have launched this investigation after it was brought to the school's attention earlier today by students and concerned members of the community. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Dinwiddie High School 12th grader Maya Wallace says that's what students have been saying who've seen a video circulating on social media involving members of the school's football team. They were saying that it was an uh, inappropriate photo of football players, but I didn't know exactly who it was, so I didn't go into depth with it. Dinwiddie County Public Schools says it was made aware of the video on Tuesday by students and members in the community. A school spokesperson told CBS 6 the video involved football players in the locker room after practice, laughing and dancing, but also getting undressed, which led to some nudity in the video, which is what they consider inappropriate. In a recorded message sent out to parents and guardians, the school's interim principal says they are taking the matter seriously and that it is, quote, a disruption to our learning environment that does not reflect the core values of the student body. I'm shocked. I am really, I'm shocked about that and very disappointed. Wallace's grandmother, Susie Wallace, was one of those who got that voicemail. I was like, oh my goodness, no, not that did not do this, not happen at the school. I was very shocked and disappointed. School system says the administration is handling the investigation and no law enforcement agencies are involved. It adds the students in the video will receive appropriate disciplinary action along with training about internet safety and appropriate social media use. Inappropriate things can stay on the internet forever and you can't get rid of it just by pressing the delete button. So be careful. Now, the school system says that this investigation will not affect the football team's activities in terms of continuing on with the remainder of their games this season. Working for you in Dinwiddie County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.